So let's talk really briefly about the KA and the PKA. So let's just dive right in. So something that you need to know before that we talk about KA and PKA, you need to know that strong acids and bases completely dissociate 100%. So their ionization is 100%. That's another term that you can hear, ionization or dissociation, okay? So now for weak acids and weak bases, they do not completely dissociate. And so, um, again, how does this tie in? Well, the Ka is the dissociate the dissociation constant, and the PKA is the negative log of the Ka. Okay, so again, strong acids and bases completely dissociate one hundred percent. Weak acids and weak bases do not completely dissociate. And then for the Ka, the dissociation constant, and the PKA is the negative log of the Ka. Now. The stronger the acid, the higher the Ka, and the lower the pKa. The weaker the acid, the lower the Ka, and the higher the pKa. Okay? Now, in organic chemistry, you'll hear a lot like, okay, for this acid-based reaction, I want you to predict how is this going to shift. And so I'm going to give you this reaction. And so in this particular reaction, I have a strong acid and I have a strong base. And I'm going to show you how the shift is going to go. So when reacting a strong acid and a strong base, the proton will always go from the stronger acid to the stronger base. And as you can see, I gave you a cheat already, and I said the low pKa to the high pKa. But I want you to notice, so this is a strong acid, right? This is a strong base. Here, again, is the conjugate base, and this is the conjugate acid. So right now, I'm looking at this strong acid and this conjugate acid. So this strong acid obviously is going to have a low pKa, and this weaker acid is going to have a higher pKa. So it's going from the lower pKa to the higher pKa. Again, and this is for strong acid base reactions. Um, if you enjoy this video, please follow, like, and share. And thanks again for watching.